This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Intrepid in about 3 minutes. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1 to 4 players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. You are the team on the International Space Station and something has gone terribly wrong. Can you stay at your console while the whole station blows up around you? All players win and lose together, and you lose immediately if you cannot generate enough resources to get out of the red zone, or if the disaster deck runs out. You win if you complete three missions by pushing them to stage five. Dice. Dice rolling and dice manipulation drive this game. Variable player powers. Each nation's astronauts use different dice manipulation mechanics. Player turn. There are four resource boards. This one is climate. In a four player game, each one has their own. Grab an astronaut, a career badge, and some dice, as well as your tiles sorted into starter tiles and tiers one through four. Ensure that your tiles are on the side matching your control board's color. Place your starting tiles anywhere on the main board. We start with two dice and roll threes. We place them on the solar array as it wants a double from one to six. This grants us a single die of a four that we place on aluminium shielding, which we repeat and get a two that we place on the heat rejection systems. By using our dice smartly, we've gotten far more than our starting two. We then count up how many resources we have generated by looking at the bottom right of each tile, six energy and six climate. We move our climate score up six, and the player who's running the power board also generated five climate, putting us on plus five. Our power combines with their power generation as well, moving it to seven. If a track is still in the yellow, spend one emergency supply here and set all tracks to the minimum value shown. You can then spend resources to advance a mission card one step. Each mission needs to be advanced five times in order to complete it. Track that with a die. Each step increase in costs. Now draw a new disaster card and deal with any persistent ones in play. Then check the lowest value of the four resources generated. This is the surplus you have to spend on upgrades. You can buy extra dice for the amount shown here, and you can spend one point per player to advance the research track, which goes all the way to tier four. This one costs six points, but it also costs two nutrition drain. What does that mean? Well, that means if you take this card, the nutrition player will need two extra nutrition each turn to break even. All upgrade cards drain other players' resources. Then reset the board and claim back your dice. Note you don't get the extra ones you produced during your last turn. A few notes to round off. The middle of the board has spaces where you can place a die so another player can gain one. Overproducing by lot gives you a one-time bonus tracked on the top right of your board. This bonus is either three capacity points for each player or advancing one mission, one stage. Why would you like this game? Firstly, I only showed one nation's board during the examples and for good reason. Each nation has their own different dice mechanics and unique tiles. This means each nation has its own particular challenge to solve. Thankfully, it comes with a guidebook that explains that for new players. And I think this is where Intrepid excels at giving each player a different math puzzle to solve each turn. The game is incredibly well packaged and the components are stunning and it has a huge table presence that commands attention. And the space theme and large variety of astronauts are also neat. All up, a game that would suit cooperative groups who really like to run their own turns. The well, best thing about this game is when players find out their upgrades drain the other players' boards, it creates an interesting dynamic. However, this game is all about doing math on your own board and sharing the results to the group later. That means the meat of the game is a solitaire segment. And only when you finally report your findings back do you find out if someone stuffed up and you all died. And the events are just not fun, they're mean and unavoidable. And the win conditions are just dull and incredibly anticlimactic. Ultimately, instead of having many options each turn to solve a space disaster, your one option is to do more math at your console. For a competitive game that has unique mini games, try Merchant's Cove. And for a similar system, but with a story attached, try Gen 7. Intrepid. Everything I like in a game, except it's not fun. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.